Today, I'm going to show you how to add an amendment to your transaction. It's easy, so are you ready? Of course you are. Let's go. So I'm in my transaction, and normally when you're on the document section, you can see there's a placeholder for most of the required and recommended documents, like residential contracts, seller's disclosure, etc. But there's no predefined spot for an amendment. That's okay. We can and should add them anyway, and I'm going to show you two ways to do it. For both ways, you start by clicking the big blue Add Document button. And for the second way, you would select a file from the inbox, but I'm going to show you that a little bit later. So for now, let's upload a file from our computer. We'll navigate to where the uh, amendment is, open it, and once it's uploaded, you'll be able to select uh, just one page if you need it, or you can select all and all of the pages from that document will be added. Okay, you'll click Create Document, and you'll then be taken to a section that has a list of contracts, addendums, amendments, and other collateral that you can choose from. You can even do a search to see if that narrows it down and helps you find the document that you're looking for, or you can create your own, which is what we're going to do here. Okay, so select Other Contract Documents, and it gives you the opportunity to rename it. And I'm going to call this Repair Amendment. You'll click Save Document, and you'll see that it's been added to your transaction. Okay, so remember I told you the second way to add it would be by selecting a file from the inbox? I'll show you how to do that now. So say the co-op agent has emailed you the document and it's already signed and executed. You can actually email it to your inbox in the dashboard. What's that? You didn't know that already agents have an email address for their dashboard inbox? It's limited. It's only for sending and receiving documents, and it can't be used for anything else. But here's how you would find your address. You go to the inbox at the very top, and then you can see your email address, or if it's not set up for you already, you might see instructions prompting you and give you directions on how you can set that up, okay? So uh, you can typically use a, the full version all spelled out, uh, Andrea at sendtobackagent.com, or you can use a shortened version, uh, Andrea at sendtoba. So I'll show you how to do that. So here's my email, and pretend this was an agent that sent me this amendment. Okay, so I would simply forward this to my inbox on the dashboard. Andrea at sendtoba.com. Then back in back agent, I go to my inbox and I'll see there it is. Okay, you might give it some time. It takes a few minutes sometimes to show up. But now you can attach it to your transaction one of two ways. You can either go back to your transactions click on the add a document and click select file from inbox and look if you hover over the thumbnail it gives you a bigger picture so it helps you narrow down if you get a bunch of these in it'll help you narrow down which one to select and so you would select it and then you'll go through the process that I showed you before or you can go right to the inbox, find the document, and attach it from the inbox. This way you click Attach, then select the transaction. I'm going to upload this, and I'm going to rename it. Once it's saved, you'll see it's added to your transaction. One thing to remember about amendments, amendments change the contract, so you'll need to change the information in the dates and information section. Okay, so if you change the closing date, you can click on the little change button. It's kind of tiny and hard to see, but this allows you to edit your 
information. So you just click change and you could change uh, when the actual closing is being held. Okay. Or maybe you had a price change, right? So you'd go to the financial section, change, and you would change the uh, contracted sales price, right? And it's important that you do this because this, the what you enter here affects how the system calculates your commission. So just a few things to be aware of. But I hope this helps when you need to add an amendment to your transaction on the dashboard. And it's important for us to keep our files as complete as possible. And that's it for now. Thanks for always being ready.